Welcome back. I finally managed to get the um, get the repair panel tacked on. I'm really rather pleased with it. Um, it's it's been a nightmare working in the open in the wind, but I finally managed to get an evening without wind, and um, I've managed to get quite a decent bit of progress. So it's it's tacked on the bottom there. The, this bottom is not tacked on yet. I need to. Um, I've just got to do a bit of fine fettling. The edges are not completely level, so. Um, I've got, I've got this quite. If I get the panel fit good enough, I'll be able to just run the flame across the join and not use any filler wire. And that will be preferable. You know, obviously if, if there are gaps, you've got to use filler wire. So I'm going to try and spend some time fiddling about and banging and crashing. And um, I'm, the, so I've got an old file here, which I've sort of shaped into a, uh, anyway, it's got a nice lip on it on the other side. Because of this, um, the heat distortion, the panels, they're not lying flush, they've overlapped slightly. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to catch my little sort of spoon of a file, the edge there. Just, um, I, you know, I've bent this file. Um, I use it for sort of, for, for slapping. Uh, it's, a, it's a slapping file for bo um, slapping bodywork, long panels when you're trying to um, create a, a very gentle curve. But this, this will help. I'm just going to um, use the lip and hit it with quite a heavy hammer. I need to knock that back to make the, the panels are almost overlapping at the moment and I want them to lie completely flush. It will just help me to create a better weld. Oh, that's better. I might spend 10 or 15 minutes doing this. Here we go. As I say too, the more effort you make on the panel fit, the less aggravation the weld will be. So I'd like to show you a really good world. If I can spend a good 10 or 15 minutes bashing this about, getting a really perfect panel fit, I'll try and see if I can do a seam without filler wire, just the acetylene flame, and that will be a beautiful weld. But you can't do that if the panel fit's not almost 100%. Okay. Now that. Very, very pleased with the profile. Let's have a look. Yeah, the profile's pretty good. It's, um, I won't say it's 100% because the heat's distorted it slightly, but that's inevitable. But, you know, certainly 90, 95% of the profile is accurate. And, you yeah, know, when this has been filed, and I'll probably put a fine slither of body, fi um, body lead. I'll let, I, don't, I don't really fancy using filler, I'll use lead in this area, fill all the slight undulations and I'll file it with a, with a large dreadnought file. So it'll, be, it'll all be metal, there won't be any modern white filler in there I don't think. That's my intention anyway. inside see if I can get a, get a heavy file not a file a heavy chisel whatever it is I just need to knock this down if I can I get my hand there without cutting it to ribbons on the on the rush shards on the other side Is, uh, it's quite a it's quite a laborious task but I just want to give you a sense I don't want to try and film every moment of it I'm probably gonna spend another 15 20 minutes 
tapping, banging, and then we'll try and do a nice sort of scene weld. And I'll, uh, I'd like to show you that on camera if I can. But, um, let, me, let, me stop, let me stop filming here and I'll carry on with the banging and crashing. <laughs> 